y'all it's alice with vintage gal 18 so it's that time again to get yourselves signed up for a swap at yourpaperpantry.ning.com i'm coming to you with the flower swap and um, i wanted to do something different we're usually always creating flowers and this time i kind of wanted to go with a store-bought flower but we're still going to add to it so it's going to be kind of like our own flower um i want to create or i want us to create a bouquet but it's um i don't you know the person who's going to receive it it doesn't have to it doesn't have to keep it as a bouquet um i want them to feel free to use it um, because i know a lot of people decorate during halloween and not everybody decorates inside maybe they do outdoors so i want it to be easy for the person who receives it to get um to be able to take like the flower part apart and be able to put it on a wreath if that makes any sense so i'm just showing you like flowers that i purchased i got these at the dollar tree um the eyeballs i purchased at um michael's they were four for 99 cents and all i'm gonna do is use my hot glue gun which is what you saw me doing was just a pair of cutters and i'm just i was just trimming off the flowers and see i thought that would be super duper cool um i love decorating during halloween the kids love it when i decorate um i haven't done a wreath uh, for Halloween because I always I miss out I always just keep my harvest one all the way through Thanksgiving um, but I, I want to do one now that I did these flowers um, and so I'm just I'm going to use four flowers with the four eyeballs that I got I need to go purchase more though because I really like the way they look and they're just styrofoam and I'm going to also decorate my flowers with like spiders and what else do I use um I don't think I use the long, what is it called, like a caterpillar-like insect. Um, but I'll show you. I thought it'd be fun to go with a Halloween theme. Um, that way when we receive the, or when you receive the exchange, the swaps, um, it'll be perfect right on October to get your uh, decorations up and going. So see, I put the spider there on that one. And I really like that deep purple flower. I love the way it looks. And I think I also use like an orange um, spider and it looks really nice too. And so, um, like I said, this is for the flower swap. I don't know, I don't think I'm going to do um, like a one on one. I think I should just receive them all and then just send them out. Um, maybe that would be easier. Um, that one, am I going to put the larger? Yeah, I put the larger spider. I like the way that one looked. And so, um, what you need to do is create one bouquet. Um, I think I used, let me count the flowers. Let me get my bouquet so I can tell you what I used. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I used eight flowers. And they're not large, but you can use any size of flower that you want. Um, you don't need to uh, provide the vase. Like I said, you know, the person receiving this will provide, the, you know, will have a vase for themselves. Or um, if they want, they could just um, pull it apart and use it in their wreath project. If they have, a, if they're going to do like a wreath for Halloween or during October. Um, but see, like those little plastics that you see there I got those at the Dollar Tree also right here what I'm showing you is the bottom part of the of the bouquet and I'm gonna tie it with that string but it's not sturdy um, so I really don't care for that wire what I do also is I get a rubber band and that's much sturdier so use a rubber band when you're um, putting your bouquet together it it helps a lot and um, either way it's gonna be covered right now I'll show you I use my black, it's like, it has like a little satin on there, like a matte style satin ribbon, and you'll see right now. And I just dabbed a little bit of glue on the stem so I can adhere the ribbon to it. And you see right there, I'm just going to go all around. I'm going to put some glue on there, but I'm just seeing if the measurement is right. And I'll just go down with the glue a little bit. And I'm just going to go around. And then all you do is just snip off the excess right there. 
and that bottom part is pretty much finished. And then I'm going to go a little bit more on the top. And that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you guys join in uh, at Your Paper Pantry. Uh, join in on the swaps. Everybody's going to have something different this month. Um, the swaps open today on the 25th. They close up on the 5th. And any other details that you like, uh, we will leave there as well um, in the description of whichever swap you're entering yourself in. So thank you guys so much. Bye.